Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean Mayo here, and I just wanted to show you uh, this new tool we've been working on. It's newly been updated with a bunch of new features, so uh, we're going to get right into it. Uh, I know there's um, a lot of problems out there that people don't have, uh, have a hard time getting variations. If you're uh, selling on merch uh, to get all the different variations, if you want to promote using AMS, uh, if you're selling uh, things like clothing and shoes, or other products with variations, pulling all those variations uh, can be uh, quite a headache. So uh, we put together this, uh, this uh, Chrome extension. Uh, it's a one-time charge. Uh, it's $39.95, just so you know before we get started. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, lifetime updates. Anything we ever do with it um, will be free at that price, uh, even if we have to start charging um, monthly fees, you'll, uh, you'll still be in this rate. So uh, let's get into it. So if we have, uh, so here we are on a Amazon page. You can select anything with variations. All you have to do is left click the button uh, for Variation Hunter, uh, which is a little bullseye here. Uh, and you're gonna get this page pop, popping up. Uh, so you can do a few different things here. Um, you basically can click on the orange one. Uh, you can see I already have one in here that's working, and these will run in the background. So you can just click Add, and it's going to add that uh, to it, and it's going to keep searching every single page uh, in every variation until it finds uh, the right result. So we see there's 939 variations on here, uh, which is quite a bit um, on the higher end. Uh, and when we look at it, we can see that there is uh, a ton of different sizes uh, available, all the half sizes. Uh, there's some wides, there's women's and men's versions, and then a ton of different, um, you know, color variations as well. So what happens here is it's not connecting to the API. You don't have to, you know, get all those security settings and API settings. Uh, from Seller Central. Uh, everything's happening on your local computer, so nothing is being sent to a server. It doesn't connect to our servers in any way. Uh, it doesn't connect uh, to the Amazon API in any way. So uh, this was a big, um, something of, of great interest to uh, users when we had talked to people that, uh, you know, they don't want another thing that you have to connect uh, to get that data to be connecting to their account that they have to worry about deleting later on. Uh, and so we figured out how to run everything through the pages. So it's checking every page and every variation uh, on your computer. And because of that, uh, it does take a little bit more time uh, because we don't want, um, of course, Amazon to be flagging anything as, as spam or loading all those pages. So, uh, but it does run in the background. You can add as many pages as you want. You can go to um, more pages. You can do as many as you want. When it gets done with one, it's going to move on to the next one and the next one until they're all done. And they'll be saved there on your local computer until you hit the button uh, to download. So we can go to another one, um, click the Variation Hunter again, add this, and it's going to add it to the queue. Uh, so it's still pending. So it'll pull in the first one, obviously, and see how many variations it finds. And this can grow as it checks more variations. It can find more and more. Uh, so that number can grow. Uh, but uh, another way you can do it is to bulk add ASINs. So if you have a list of ASINs that you want to pull the information, uh, you can uh, just click there uh, on the uh, bulk add ASIN, the blue button here. Uh, and you can uh, just paste a list in there. Uh, and then click Add ASINs, uh, and it's going to add all of those uh, to the queue. And as it starts pulling that information in, uh, it will auto-populate uh, the titles. As you can see, this is one we pasted, uh, as well as um, the snacky here. Uh, and as it uh, works through all the uh, all of the things you import, it will auto-populate those. Uh, and as you can see, it only works on one at a time. It will pull in the data 
and as it works, it, it will find them. So uh, when you're uh, when you have one complete and you're ready to download, you can just click on CSV uh, and it immediately downloads it. It's already on your computer uh, because everything is run locally, as we said. So uh, it's just downloaded into a CSV file, you can see. And then when you're done, uh, you can just hit the X and it will delete it out of your queue. All right, so uh, if you want to get a copy of this, uh, as I said, it's only $39.95 for lifetime access. You can go to variationhunter.com uh, and you can get all the information uh, written out there. Um, the first 250 people uh, that get this are going to get it at the um, highly discounted uh, $39.95 price. Uh, as you can see here, once it hits 250 people, we are going to uh, be raising the price, obviously. Um, as we add uh, new features, we just won't be able to keep it at that price. Uh, so uh, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, you can always send me an email, seanmail at seanmail.com or hit me up on Facebook. We're always there. Thanks a lot.